Hello everyone. I'm Greg Solomon. This video clip is my reply to Mr. Uh, Renetto's video. Um, the video called Renetto Gets Plastered, wherein he um, pretends to be drunk and then rattles off a series of apologies. And also within that video he issues a, a challenge to Greg Solomon. Now when I first saw this video clip of his, this Renetto Gets Plastered video clip, I looked at it as a, uh, a piece of sarcasm, a way to, uh, with tongue firmly implanted in cheek, a way to apologize basically for uh, the video clip he did in poor taste wherein he uh, mentioned blowing things up several times while riding on a uh, commercial airliner and then posted that video clip out on, the, on YouTube as some sort of a, a joke or something. Anyways, a fellow by the, with the username of Admiral Duke uh, demanded an apology from him for that. And I think, I think Paul realized that that video was in fact uh, uh, not only adolescent in nature but also in very poor taste. And so he apologized in a way that allowed him to save some face. And that's what I viewed that uh, that video clip as, the the Paul or the Renetto gets plastered video clip, a, a sarcasm, a way of sarcastically apologizing. Uh, he apologized for several things, even apologized for the people who had complained that he was pretending to be drunk, etc., etc. Anyways, let me get to the the challenge that he issued me. He issued me a challenge of to say something nice about somebody, anybody. Um, as I said, I viewed that video clip as sarcasm, and I thought that might be part of the sarcasm. I went ahead and uh, private messaged uh, Mr. Robinette, but because I assumed him and I were on fairly good terms, it had been on good terms, and I, and I messaged him and asked him if maybe that was just part of the sarcasm, and he wrote me back and said, well, Essentially, I don't have the, the message right in front of me, but to paraphrase him, he wrote me back and essentially said, well, uh, he thought if I came out here and was uh, nice or syrupy or whatever to, a, to another user, that perhaps it would be good for my, and I'll use his word, standing out here in the community. Well... I think Mr. Robinette is getting um, subscribers confused with standing out here on the uh, YouTube community um, because Mr. Robinette has a, uh, a much larger subscription base than myself or than a lot of people. He's, I think he's assuming that he in fact is in good standing and He's in a position to uh, um, is in a position to suggest what other members might do to get themselves in good standing. Well, let me say this: uh, Mr. Robinette's um, subscribers represent approximately two percent of the total number of people who have visited his channel. And you can look at those statistics. You can go to anybody's channel and you can see uh, channel views and subscribers. And his view, his uh, subscribers represent uh, around 2% of the uh, of the persons who have visited his channel. My subscribers represent about 2% of the viewers who have visited my channel. Uh, and I think that's about average. Uh, some have a little more, some have a little less. The only reason, uh, Paul, that you have the subscribers you do is essentially you've had more channel views. More people have come to your channel, and the reason for that is you've had a, a couple of video clips featured by YouTube. Um, one was that, that silly thing with the candy and uh, soda pop in your mouth that spewed all over. I think that got like two million hits or something. Um, anyways, the, the amount of channel views that you get uh, basically will uh, will indicate how many subscribers you get because you'll get about 
two percent. Two percent of that number will subscribe to you. So you really don't have any better standing in the community uh, than myself or anyone else. Um, speaking of subscriptions, you'll find this interesting. The top subscriber of all time, the, the top, uh, let, me, let me rephrase that, the person out here on YouTube with the most subscriptions of all time, uh, Lonely Girl 16, is it? 15. Lonely Girl 15. Her, and she is the top subscri she's the most subscribed individual out here on YouTube of all time. And uh, the amount of subscribers that she has represents roughly about 1% only of the people who have viewed her channel. She just had, has had a huge amount of people view her channel because I, I would imagine that some of her videos have been featured. So anyways, let's not confuse um, videos being featured with, um, with standing in the community. Now, um, I have a few detractors out here, and Mr. Robinette, you have detractors out here also. In fact, I'm willing to say percentage-wise, you probably have significantly more than I do, um, even allowing for the discrepancy in the subscriber base. You have a, a large amount of, uh, of persons out here. Uh, you want to call them haters. Uh, you, you have a lot of haters. You have a lot of people who uh, detract, detractors. A lot of people. I can see it in your personal com or in your comments under your videos. There's a. Uh, you get quite a lot of people who uh, submit uh, negative comments about your videos. I have received a ton of messages and emails uh, about you. Um, basically detracting from you. And here is the difference that I see, uh, Mr. Robinette. Um, the detractors I have, and yes, I have a few of them, uh, basically they either like what I say or they don't like what I say when people look at my videos. But I'm pretty upfront about what I say and about where I'm coming from. I don't have any ulterior motives. Uh, I'll say something, and the overwhelming majority of comments that I get to my videos and the overwhelming majority of personal messages that I get are positive and supportive of any videos that I do. <coughs> but as I said, the, uh, the detractors that I do get basically don't like what I've said. However, what I've noticed, the detractors that you get, including those uh, detractors who have written a ton of messages and emails to me, they're more suspicious of your motives. They don't really trust what you're doing out here. It's not so much what you say, but the ulterior motive behind what you're saying. So I, I see a lot of mistrust out here uh, generated towards you. So anyways, um, as I said, the, the majority of, uh, of my viewers and, and my commenters seem to be uh, uh, positive. And I do not plan on making any videos to pander to the few um, who may be my detractors just to get them to, uh, to like me or to increase my standing with them in the community. Um, I'll take my standing as it is. I have had none of my videos featured. The subscribers that I do have, I feel that I've gotten the old-fashioned way. I've earned them. Now, Mr. Uh, Boheme, uh, excuse me, Boheme, had suggested once that perhaps I uh, was making videos concerning certain individuals out here in order to get my some of my popularity up, um, and that is uh, absolutely ridiculous. It can be proven wrong, in fact, by uh, just taking a look at my my video clips. One of the persons whom I've had several. Uh, back and forth the repartees with was uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Archer and Mr. Archer is actually quite low on the food chain out here. And you look at most subscriptions of all time I don't see him anywhere out there so I should think if I was just trying to get more viewers I would uh, I would go ahead and uh, choose someone a little higher up in the food chain than him. I'm running out of time in this clip I'm gonna stop it and continue this in a second part.